need I need some help here. Can you help me? I need some help. Why not? Well, you see, this is the middle of Warsaw, okay? And it's one of my favorite places because it's such a rich and amazing story that is right, be, you know, in, in, in this ground, really. That's why I come here. I mean, imagine this whole place, the whole place that you're looking at now, that was, it was a bunker. It was a bunker made by Jewish Polish people during the, the, the ghetto time. And the whole basement was reinforced, you know, big walls, concrete walls, five different exits or six different exits from this place. And it was run by, imagine who? Thugs, by thugs, by thieves, by pimps. You know, there were pimps, girls, it was a brothel. You know, it was the only place in the ghetto that had water, electricity, food. Are there any volunteers to help me? Okay, I'm Polish. I would like to open a Polish flag to say that this was Polish heroes as well, not only Israeli. Can you help me with this? Okay. Is this going to be a hostile act if I do it? The person who ran this place it was a big guy. They tell stories about this person. He, huge arms, big guy. He always had a girl on his lap, you know, with no panties. Well, out of respect for Mordechai Anilevich as a Polish hero. That's, that's the real story. So, on the other hand, you have Mordechai Anilevich and people like him, his group. Bravery. Yeah, young, teenagers, idealists, you know, pure people who, uh, who uh, studied literature, they spoke poetry, you know, they were fascinated with ideals. Stand in this Walczę o to, żebyśmy odzyskali naszego Żyda Mordechaja Nielewicza jako wielkiego polskiego bohatera. So one day, this big thug, he says to Mordechaja Nielewicz, Hey, you got guns, I got food, why don't you come and live with us? And that's what happened. The whole party of Mordechaja Nielewicz moved to this bunker. Okay, and finally, this one day, when Germans surrounded this place, and this is, this is just an amazing story. They surrounded this place. They wanted everybody out, but they didn't want to leave. So they said, okay, you have one last chance. You can, you can let the civilians go. And that's what they did. They told the civilians, the girls, the pimps, the thieves, you know, they told them, okay, you go. But the rest stayed. The Jewish people. All of them were Jewish. All of them were Jewish. So they let the, the civilians leave. And the yeah. warriors remained. The warriors remained, and when they realized there's no chance that they're gonna survive the day, one of them said, Listen, guys, there's no way we are coming of this place alive. So, you know what? I don't want to be captured by Nazis. This bullet is for me. One of them shot his own mother, then he shot himself. And you have a scene in this place where 120 people are shooting each other in the basement. Can you imagine this? Now, Mordecha Anilevich was just as Polish as I am. He was raised in Powiśle, where I live. His father's uh, store was on my street, okay? He was raised in Polish uh, school. He uh, studied Polish literature. He was just as Polish as I am. <laughs> No, 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 stay. Yes? Of course, eh? I just wanted to explain what I'm doing here. Because uh, Mordechai Nilevich is here. Yeah, I know. So he was from my neighborhood. He was Polish, like I am. Very nice. And Jewish, like you are. I know. Uh, Speak good English, okay. but I understand. Right. But, so I came here to pay my respects to Mordechai Nilevich, a big Polish hero. 
Jewish hero in all of those people who they were killed here were Polish. Polish, just as Polish as I am. The only problem is that they were tagged Jewish. And because of this tag, they were condemned to die. How much of a lone voice you are uh, that saying that the Holocaust is not a Jewish story, not a Nazi story, it's a Polish story. You know what, frankly, I can't answer this question. Even if I am the only, the only voice in Poland saying we should reclaim Holocaust as a Polish history, uh, you know, I think it is going to change. Sooner or later, Poland will realize that we cannot avoid this subject, we cannot go around it, that it's still shaping the mentality of Polish people today. But currently there are you no know, survivors living, coming, visiting. In 10 years time, 20 years time, there'll be no one left. I know. And more and more laws and less and less education and the Holocaust might be forgotten. You know what? Let's hope it's no, never gonna happen this way. And I'm here to fight that it never happens. Polish nationalists will kill me for this. First of all, for putting Polish flag into dirt. And the other thing is, to open the flag here with all the Israeli around. They crucify me. Aren't you afraid of it? Uh, no, <laughs> not so much now. I've been here for so long that, uh, you know, I don't think anything can happen to me. So you still rely on Polish democracy? Yes. Yeah, I, I pretty much believe that this country is not going to shit, you know, and there's a lot of good people. Uh, when you go on the street, I think you meet only good people, really, you know. But then when you go to the public space, uh, it's, it's a little more difficult. The politicians. Yeah, politicians and, you know, there's the extremists in Poland, like in any other country, I guess. Okay. Yeah. Thank you so much. Thank you. You're a brave